what's up everybody and welcome back to my course so let's start coding our mobile controls so far now we are able to control our player with the keyboard and uh, our player is uh, running very smoothly so now let's shift to the joystick and the touch field so if you remember we have also a touch field which if i increase the alpha you can see that we have our touch panel in the canvas so now let's go back to our script and we are going to start with the player script so we want the player to move as we move our joystick so it's going to be very simple so but first what we are going to do is we are going to create a boolean so that we can switch to uh, PC control and mobile controls by using that so I'm going to say public and it is going to be false which is the default value of boolean and then in here we are going to say so uh, this is where we are getting the inputs from our keyboard so if we are going to say if mobile input is enabled then we are going to do that else we are going to do that <coughs> so now we need that variable to be accessible in both of these if and else so i am going to copy that put it right there and remove that vector too so now it is in the scope of update function so it is accessible in here now here it is saying that this is unassigned so we are going to simply say vector2 dot zero okay now in here what we are going to do we are going to copy the exact same line right here and instead of getting the key inputs from keyboard we are going to access our joystick and for that we need a reference to our joystick so let's move that public boolean up here and in here we are going to say public and it is going to be fixed so it is going to be fixed joystick and i'm going to name it joystick and let's copy that and in here where mobile input is true we're going to say for horizontal we need the x so joystick and we can access the input from joystick by using joystick dot input which is a vector 2 and we can access the x and y position so in here we're going to say x copy that for vertical we are going to say not t but but y okay so let's go back to camera because we are also getting the input from mouse so in here we are going to do the same we are going to say public and uh, let's copy that we can access that variable by taking the reference of player but let's do this for now and maybe we are going to improve it later on so in here we are going to do the same thing if enable mobile input so if then we are going to do that else we are going to put that here now in here we are going to uh, need a reference of our touch field because the rotation the camera rotation will be by using that touch field so we are going to take the public reference of that also so public uh, fixed touch field and it is going to be touch field now let's copy both of these lines right here and instead of getting the mouse x
touch field dot touch distance which is a vector 2 and for the x we are going to get the x and for y we are going to copy that put it right there and replace the y so now we need to initialize this and that so let's go back to our editor so select our main camera and in here we need a reference to touch field so i'm going to drag the touch panel right here and on the player we are going to use the joystick so fixed joystick is going to be there and remember we need to enable the mobile inputs to test these so let's start the game the working so like so now you can see that it is uh, way too much fast this is because our because of our rotation sensitivity so i'm going to uh, put 0 0.2 here okay so now it is much more smoother so if i press here and drag you will notice we can rotate and we can then move in the direction of rotation you can increase and decrease these values so if let's say i disable then it is going to work with camera and also for the camera we need to increase the rotation here let's say 8 you can see it's working fine so that's it for this video and i will see you guys in the next video